Hello everyone, it's the 5th of November today and as such it's the start of the month and that's generally when I do all my seed sowing for the month, the majority of it and no different today, even in November. Now, I've got lots of things in them I and you can see behind me I've got a whole plethora of stuff growing behind me but even if you look over there I've got a bed full of lettuce uh, that's growing away happily now, that's not going to last forever and it's only the 5th of November. If that lasts up till Christmas, I'll be surprised, but it's after then that you want more leaves. So I'll be sowing more things today to replace things that are going to either um, be used up. Also, at this time of year, you've got to be careful because a lot of things can be attacked by pests. Um, a lot of things can be attacked by viruses and bacterias and rots and molds and things like that. So keeping a turnover of plants, keeping things ticking over by producing more plants you can hole fill as you know if one of these um kaolan died here i could whip whip it out and put something else in its place and that's something i'll be doing over this month i've got a few holes already developing in this lot but for now i want to concentrate on this this is something i do quite a lot especially at this time of the year it's me cut and come again lettuce um, you can see I've got one little one growing away there. So it's time to get another one going. And I'm just going to sprinkle some seeds on this. And these are handy because they're portable. So I can put them wherever I want to on this plot. Inside, outside, or what I tend to do, especially over the Christmas period, is I'll take a couple home and put them in my greenhouse at home and um, then if uh, you know cold weather sets in i've got those leaves ready at home to go i don't need to nip down here just to grab a few leaves for a sandwich or a salad but whilst i'm also here with these these are the seedlings there's hundreds in here and this will easily fill fill out here we'll take a couple of crops off this before consigning this to the compost bin but with so many seedlings in here, all I've got to do is prick a couple of these out, pot them on, and I've got extra and spare lettuce. You know, and, and that's a brilliant thing to be able to do that, to have that availability there. So I'll take that as an opportunity, along with sowing some other seeds. And I have got some seedlings up on my hanging shelf up there as well. We'll take a few from this corner and then a few from the other corner. Just pot on a dozen of these little lettuce plants and they'll grow away happily into other plants that I can pick and I can choose where to plant them later. So that's that. We'll move on and we'll sow some seeds now. Now, another one of the reasons why I sow so many seeds and sow so often is because I never quite know or understand what the weather's going to throw at me next. I'm in northwest Cumbria here. The coast is about five miles that way, and about five miles that way are the, fill, uh, are the fells, the mountains of Cumbria. And, you know, they can't forecast correctly for this area. And we do have our own little bit of a weather pattern going on here. Now, yesterday morning, I took some temperatures around the country on the weather, on the weather apps. Here we were one degree at half past seven in the morning. On the south coast of the UK, it was seven or eight degrees. Now even just going across the country from northwest Cumbria across towards Newcastle and Sunderland, which is just straight across the country, it was five degrees there. So that's the sort of temperature differences that we, we have here. Even in this summer's heat wave where much of the country was baking in the high 30s and in some places into the 40s, and there was massive drought and even the grass was dying down south. We were still here in the mid twenties. So we're not a warm county. So I have to work hard to produce plants and produce the food and the flowers and the fruit and veg that we need. So this is one of the reasons why I continually sow seeds. So if a plant dies in the ground, I've got a plant to replace it. And it does happen and it happens a lot, even though I am by my own standards, a reasonable gardener. So that one of the ways I offset that is just by sowing lots of seeds, keep the plants coming. 
So we know those lettuce are going to pop off before Christmas, so I'm going to sow some more now. And this first one is winter density. And it's just a very shallow drill on the top of this, and then I will cover those seeds over. I might actually take these home and put them on the kitchen windowsill, give them a better chance of germinating, because now we're into coolish weather. <coughs> Excuse me, this one is Rouge Diva. I really like this lettuce. This is, it's like a, a red Grenoble. It's very, very similar to the red Grenoble. And whereas the red Grenoble's more more of a sort of spring, summer, autumn lettuce, this is most definitely a winter one. The same with this one, Rougette de Midi. It's again, very similar to the red Grenoble. Therefore I like it because I say red Grenoble's my all time favorite lettuce. And Yes, I am putting a lot of seeds in because this time of year, not all of them are going to germinate. And the last one, many of you will be familiar with this one, is Marvel of Four Seasons. It's not a great tasting lettuce, but it's great for bulking out a salad and it's crunchy. And if I can get into, into the damn packet, <laughs> <laughs> I'll sow this into it's not let me in right we'll take it for granted I've sown that one and move on <laughs> stupid things so just cover that with a little bit of <laughs> compost they will be sown I'll do them off camera also to replace I've got pack joy in 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 the other tunnel over there but I want some more because I oh, will probably have picked and eaten most of those by Christmas. So again, I'll just put more plants in. And here's where I play with the weather, you see, because if we're having a mild winter, these pak choy that I'm growing onto seedlings over the next two months will grow on well. And if the weather stays mild, they'll grow well in the tunnel. If the weather's poor, they won't, and I just won't have them. But if I don't sow them, I won't have them at all. So always best. To just try and sow them and this one is a pak choy red stem you can see them ready prepared with labels so again just literally gonna chuck those in that little shallow trench and i'll cover them with a bit of compost i've got three pak choys here a red stem a white stem and a green stem it just when you stir frying them it, it just adds that variety to your plate so I will sow those three. I don't know why these packets are being so awkward today, but they are. So that's the white. Again, just the shallow drill and chucky seeds in. And these are a great staple. The thing is what I like about these is we can get a severe frost and all this pak choy will just sort of droop and go all limp and but two days later, they recover. Brilliant. This must be the green. Now, other seeds you can be sown at the minute. If you haven't sown them, broad beans is a good one. Get them going. If you haven't sown your garlic here, yeah, get them in as well. So that's those. And this one is a definite must have. This is chard, I've got a bed of chard outside. But again, they won't last forever. So I'll have replacements. And when these come up, I'll just prick them out. Putting a lot of seeds in here. The winners get planted, the losers get composted. And again, just cover them over. And this is a rainbow chard, but any of them should grow and grow well and this is another one that will go really limp and just droop over in really cold weather but it'll fire back and it will keep on growing brilliant plants for winter this so that is basically it what i'm sowing for this month there is one or two others i'm going to try some pea shoots but i'm thinking i might try them on my windowsill at home 
never done that before. So, apart from when I was a child, we all grew pea and beans in a jar, but I'm thinking, well, it might work. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Well, that's about it for this seed sowing here. <laughs> now, this was the tomato bed earlier in the season. I underplanted it with kale. This kale plant here got a uh, white fly and it got it really bad. So I carefully pulled the whole thing up, took it out and away from these other plants. So I've got this space now. I've just raked it over and I'm just gonna draw a couple of little drills in it with my fingers. And I'm gonna sow these radish. Now these are a, a China rose winter. I haven't actually grown these for a couple of years. But they're a lovely thing to have in the middle of winter because they'll grate. Well, I tend to grate them onto onto dishes right at the end, just as you're about to serve it. So, we'll sow a few rows of this. It might possibly be a little bit late for them. That's never stopped me before. I sow when I'm ready to sow, <laughs> not when the conditions are right. So I'll just blast a load of seed and these, these seeds are near the, the end of their life anyway in the use by date. So I'll just blast those fault, knock them over just to cover them up and we'll see what happens. So that's China Rose Winter. Nice radish. <laughs> I was going to sow some spring onions and I might still do but I think it's probably a little bit late for those. Um, these are now having a bit of a swim in here just soaking up some water but anyway over this next week probably sometime next week I would say I've got a, a decent giveaway coming up. Um, it's quite valuable too to be, to be honest um, so that'll be coming up so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. But that's it for today. I will be sowing more things at home. Like I say, I've got peas to come along and I would like to get some of my microgreens going as well, but it's finding a suitable location at this time of the year. So I'm gonna have a good think about that tonight, about where I can get them going. Might possibly even be in the house, I don't know. I'll have to see if I can get that one past um, my better half. But for now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Look after yourselves and stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Tirana.